Hey guys, how are you all doing? I hope you all are staying healthy and as happy as you can be. I know this world is all a little bit different and crazy right now. Um, but I just wanted to hop on. It's been a while since I filmed a video. And I just wanted to address, um, I know a lot of people sort of are paying attention to the fact that there is an election coming up this year and that the economy is obviously a concern and small business owners are, you know, experiencing a whole other difficult situation. Um, but when you look at the housing market, honestly, we're still going very strong and I know people think that that might be changing, um, but at the end of the day, the main factors to pay attention to with that, especially right now, are A, supply and demand. And I know I've been a broken record about this for a while, but honestly, we're at such a deficit. And now, more than ever, we have people moving here from California, from New York. Um, so we need more homes. And um, yeah, so some people might be deciding that they want to sell what used to be their Airbnb or whatever. Great. We can use them and then some. And builders are still just haven't caught up enough or people don't want to live as far out on the outskirts as where the builders are able to build now. So anyway, supply and demand. Home values are still going to continue to go up. As well as the good news is people that are buying right now are buying from stable ground. They're not the people trying to scramble and be like, oh, I think I'm going to lose my job. So I'm going to buy this house really fast and then lose my job. Like, no, they're not doing that. A, interest rates are, of course, phenomenal. Lenders are now so much more protective of the loans that they give. You know, they obviously unfortunately got in a lot of trouble during the last downturn, so they're not playing those games anymore. Um, everything is being qualified on a much more stable basis. Um, as well as most people that are homeowners right now have positive equity. So hypothetically, even if things did go awry, they would still have their positive equity to fall back on. Say, A, they already have a great low payment that they can afford. Um, if they need to, they could always defer payments from their lender for the time being to um, re-stabilize uh, a little bit. Or they can always do a regular refi and just lower their rate if they are able to right now, which most people pretty much can if they haven't recently. Um, and or they could always do a cash out refi and pull out a little bit of that positive equity, still actually maintain some positive equity if they choose to. Um, and again, give themselves that little bit of buffer while they reevaluate and are able to find a different job. And let me tell you, lots of places are hiring. Um, unemployment, as everyone knows, was great. Obviously, it's going away, but those people are hitting the market. Um, there are jobs out there, luckily, that you know people are looking to hire. Um, so I think our real estate market is again very stable. Um, I